Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to embed your podcast that you created in Audacity and upload it to the your Weebly ePortfolio. So once you finish your MP3 and you've saved it to your computer, go ahead and go over to SoundCloud and you'll find that at soundcloud.com. Go ahead and register for a free membership. Once you do that, you'll come to this page right here. And this is actually your dashboard page. You're going to go ahead and click Upload. And then choose Files. So then you'll go to your computer and find the file that you saved that is your podcast. Go ahead and click on it and say Open. Right now, SoundCloud is going ahead and downloading that information. In the meantime, you can go down here and give it a pretty descriptive name. Whatever you're naming your podcast, it wouldn't be Podcast One. I would give it a more descriptive name, but just name it right here. You can give it a description in here, and that's a very good idea, and be very descriptive. This is more for SoundCloud and not for Weebly, so on Weebly, you'll have to give it another description there. I really highly recommend uploading an image, and it can really be just about anything. I actually have an avatar here that I'm going to use. Then when you get down here, you can say what type is it, and there should be a podcast. You can put that in. Uh, and you can enter uh, the genre if you like or any tags if you like. It's not necessary. Okay, I would go ahead and keep this track uh, public. Uh, you could make it private, but um, just go ahead and make, make it public for right now. And I'll show you why in just a second. All right, um, and then other than that, you're really ready to go here. So we're just going to click Save. Now the next part, so here's my soundbite, and actually if I play this, you can slightly hear it, but there is some sound there, okay? All right, and they have some, you know, editing tools, but your podcast should be already edited from uh, Audacity, which is a, a much better editor than this one. So what we're looking for is this share button, which is right over here. So once you click on share, you want to go down to what's called the embed code, okay? So you'll go ahead and just, if you click in there, it will highlight it, and then just go ahead and you can go up to edit and copy, or whichever way you end up copying, but now that is uh, copied, okay? And then that's pretty well all we need with SoundCloud right now. The next step is to go over to your Weebly site and locate your podcast page. Now, what we want to do is we, we're going to be looking, this is under basic, and go over and find the custom HTML. Sounds a little scary, doesn't it? But I assure you, this is so easy. So go ahead and take this, the custom HTML, drag it to the position you want on your page, and it says click to set custom HTML. Uh, HTML so I'll go ahead and click in there and then what I want to do is just paste the code I just copied from SoundCloud so I'll go up to edit and paste and you can see there's information that a lot of us don't really understand but it will all work if you just click outside of that box you're gonna see that now all of a sudden we've embedded our podcast and we can play it right from there or anyone can play it the really nice thing is any SoundCloud member can come down here and add a comment. And if I just click post, then you'll end up getting my comments and then you can come in here and just click. So I think there's many things that we could be doing as educators or trainers in something like this. I mean, just imagine that you could actually have a podcast of maybe a lecture and students who have questions because it time stamps it so I know at point one three there's a comment maybe there's a question someone posted okay or a comment or think if you're a music teacher 
and someone uploads maybe they're practicing their scales and at a certain point you want to make a comment on it and you know tweak this or um, you know other students you could put it in a discussion board and they could be making comments on other people's either podcasts recordings uh, there's a lot of different things we can kind of start thinking outside the box and see how useful this SoundCloud application could be. Once you're done with your Weebly site right here, uh, make sure you go ahead and publish it. Well, that's it for this tutorial, and I look forward to hearing your podcasts.